Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today our topic is filters in Tableau and what is the order of operations of filters in Tableau and how to apply filters to multiple worksheet or you can say how we can use a global filter in Tableau. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is filter? So filter is used to minimizing our data and used to show us only relevant data. So there are various type of filters used in Tableau that is dimension filter, mesh of filter, context filter, data source filter, extract filter or others. So what is the order of operations of filters? So filters are executed in extract filter, then data source filter, then context filter, then dimension filter, then mesh of filter, then table calculation filter. So let's see how we can use filters in Tableau. To use a filter, let's drag some field and minimize our data. So I am using subcategory with sales. Okay. And let's drag subcategory in the filter also. So there are various options available when you drag a field into the filter shelf. Okay. Suppose you want to select all the values, then you can select all and click on okay show filter and suppose you want to see the data for some other subcategory you can just unselect it and you can see the values are changing in the views okay let's explore some other features of filter so there is show highlighter show highlighter is if you want to highlight any specific values in the view so for this you can use highlighter suppose you want to highlight arts so so when i select art so it is highlighted here in the view okay this is how you can use highlighter if you want to clear filter you can then clear it and we will discuss our context filter into the next video let's explore some other features of filters so if you want to exclude some of the values from the field then you can just click on it and click on exclude and just click on it as you can see label is excluded from the view and there is a custom value and next is custom value suppose we have the multiple values in the field and we don't know if you select from here you will, it, it will take time for you to select the value what you can do you can just search the value here and add it here let's see how we can use it let I'm selecting art and then click on ok select art and then I need chairs then click on chairs and click on ok so you can see only two values are selected ok and then the result option is use all use all is is when you click on use all all the values in the field will be used in the filter click on ok as you can see all the values are used now let me unselect so highlight filter and there is the option is wildcard suppose you don't know the name of the exact value in the field then you can use wildcard search in the wildcard search you can select the sum of the words that you remember from the values let me search for all the values that start with p and then click on ok and you can see there are two values available in the subcategory that start with P. and you can use ends with and exactly match and contains suppose I am checking let's end with R ok and click on ok so there is one value that ends with R and if we want to exclude the value that ends with R just click on exclude and click on ok so all the values that send with r are excluded from the view 
then the third option is condition condition is suppose you want to find out the subcategory whose sale is greater than zero then you can mention the condition here so by field so we have selected sales and then sum and is greater than zero and just click on ok so you you can see all if we have any fields that which value is less than zero it will be removed from here okay then you can mention equal to less than less than equal to not equal to so this is how if you know the formula you can mention the formula also here also okay I'm selecting it none and then just then the last option is stop if you want to find out any top top n values from the subcategory then you can just select it from here and you can mention it suppose I want to find out top 5 subcategory based on sales then just click on it and you can see these are the top 5 subcategory with highest sales okay we can sort it okay if you find want to find out bottom 5 then select on bottom right bottom from here and then just click and you will see these are the bottom five subcategory with sales and if you know the formula just click on formula and you can mention the formula here also okay this is how you can use all the filter all the features of filters let me just drag it and also you can if you want to exclude some of the values if you don't want to add here you can just just click on it and click on exclude as you can see if we see the filter this value is, is excluded from the filter okay if we want to only keep this value you can see we we have only fonts and if we check the filter only one value is selected in the filter this is how you can use filters okay and now how we can use extract filter data source filter and all other filter go to data source to use extract filter click on extract go to edit and add the filter here if we want to add a data based on category just click on category click on ok and click on ok this is how you can use extract filter I am not using extract filter as of now and the second one is data source filter so as you can see there is a filter option here so you can just click on add and you suppose we want to see the data only for central region then just click on ok and so data source filter is very useful if you want to see only relevant data for any specific field just apply data source filter and it will improve the performance of your dashboard then just click on ok if we want to see reason so we have only oh sorry let's drag the reason so we have only central reason right I'm removing this as of now so so as you can see when I removed data source filter all the values are present here now okay category profit and if we drag a dimension into the filter it becomes dimension filter and if we drag a measure into the filter it will become measure filter there are various values used for the measure so if you want to use all the values that is present in the profit so you can just go with all values and click on ok so there are four four options present range of value suppose you want to set a range of value from so this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value and if you want to modify the range 
range of the filter so you can just enter your range so i am entering 0 to 8399.976 okay and if you want to see the at least value from where you want to start at most value what is the maximum value and what is the special value so if you want to add null value no non value or all value so based on your requirement you can set your filters okay and then just click on okay so this is how you can use a measure filter and let's use order date let's drag category and sales and drag order date okay so when you drag order date into the filter so you will get a pop-up and it will ask you to select on which field on which level you want to filter the data so there is a relative date range of date years quarter months week number weekdays month month of year month date year individual dates count and all these values okay so relative date is when you select the relative dates so there are pop-up available so when you select the relative date there is a pop-up and you can see there are many options available to filter out our data so related date is you want if you want to figure out the data based on year quarter months weeks and days let me select for the years and if we want to see the data of previous year you can just select it and you can see the date range is selected from 1st jan 2021 to 31st december 2021 if you want to see the data for this year whole, whole year so you can see the date is changed if you want to see the data of next year you can see data change if you want to see the data of year to date means like what is the date is today so you can see so today is 13th november so we have the data till 13th november if you want to see the data of next three year four year five year you can adjust it according to your convenience and if you want to see the data for last three year four year or five year so you can select it okay and same with the quarter months weeks and days okay if you want to include null values or not so you can just go with this see the anchor of the date what you want to select the anchor anchor is two days okay by default it is today so what is range of dates suppose you want to uh, select a specific range of dates suppose I'm, I need a data from 1st March to and then 30th December 2021 so you can just select it and click on ok so you will get the data for this specific range ok So this is how you can use relative date then if you click on years you will get all the data based on years 2019 2020 21 and 22 just click on it and show filter if you want to see the data only for 20 then just unselect other fields and you can see the values are changing based on the year date okay and there are other options available like quarters months date week numbers you can select all these values based on your requirements okay now we will see how we can apply a filter to multiple worksheet or we can say how we can use global filter first let's create multiple worksheet so that we can use a filter for multiple worksheet okay so i'm creating subcategory with sales and make it to bar chart subcategory with sales and i'm filtering out data based on order year i select all values and then click on ok and then 
no filter okay and let's create one more sheet based on let's say category okay and now i'm using profit profit okay category with profit okay so how we can apply this filter to second sheet also then right click on it go to apply worksheet so there are multiple options available for this so only if you want to use this filter only for this specific worksheet then just click on this worksheet and if suppose you have 10 worksheet and you want to apply this filter to five worksheet then just click on selected worksheet and select all the worksheets on which you want to apply this filter and then just click on ok so you can see the symbol is changed here so that shows it is applied to multiple worksheet okay and there are two more option available all using this data source so when you select the, this option all the worksheets that are using this data show will automatically apply this filter and all using related data source and this is also similar to this one okay and if you can see the filter is already applied here so let me just create a dashboard and drag it quickly and let me make it to bar chart as well and as you can see bar chart is created for sales and profit and we have ordered it so if i select so if i unselect 2019 so you can see the values are changing for both the charts okay so this is how you can apply filters for multiple worksheet thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos